Hey everybody, welcome to Popular Cruising. I am your usual host, Jason, here with my better half. Heidi! And this is going to be a special uh, first episode, actually, for us. Uh, what, we're, what are we calling this? The Popular Cruising Report. And this is going to be a he said, she said edition. Or she said, he said, if exactly. you will. So uh, we've been on the Celebrity Edge class before, but this is the Celebrity Beyond. This is the third in the series, Behind the Edge and the Apex. And we're excited to check it all out. We're only on for two nights. It's going to be a quickie. Um, and just so you guys know, this is not going to be a replacement for review videos. This is going to be something extra that we're doing where we're a little bit more on camera. And we're excited to show you around the ship as much as we can in two days. It's a quick one. Yeah, come check it out with us. Yeah. In the atrium of the Celebrity Beyond at the Martini Bar. It's one of my favorite spots on board. They've got some really great drinks. I just ordered a lavender lemon drop. And we're going to see how that tastes. Okay, so here we are at the Martini Bar where my wife just had a drink. This is also the atrium. And the chandelier that's central to the space used to be at the very end, so it was a little bit kind of tucked away. Now it's in the round and you can really see it in all sorts of directions. So take a look at this beauty. So I just ordered L'Aperitif cocktail from Le Grand Bistro. Let's check it out. Mm, that's really good. Has a little bit of fizz in it. I think there might be champagne. Tastes um, a little bit like rosé. It's a really nice start to the meal. One of our favorite things to do when we get on a ship is come to a specialty restaurant for lunch, and that way you can avoid the crowds in the buffet, and it's just a lot more relaxed. Um, Le Grand Bistro is here on deck four right off the atrium, so you can still like uh, feel the vibe from the atrium. It's a, it's a fun place to be, but it's a cute, French cafe. I just had the most amazing bite of brioche and I can't wait to get into my lunch. Tell us what this is because I can't pronounce anything in French. Well, it's goat cheese, which I believe in French is chev. 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 Okay. Okay. Goat you, cheese. I mean, you give it shot, goat cheese. Clip. Goat cheese is your favorite. Let's, let's goat cheese is my, right. any cheese is my favorite. Well, sure, oh, I'm sorry. Is this bread filled with cheese? Because I'm here for this <laughs> with a tomato coulis. Get in my belly. What do we think of this? Okay, let's check it out. Mm. Crazy good. All right, let's try this. That's like a cheese filled French burrito. Right on. Oh, so this is the double cheddar, double cheese truffle burger. So this looks really cheesy. Let's give it a shot. As expected, amazing. So I accidentally ordered vegetarian lunch today, not on purpose, just because all of these things are amazing. So I got the wild mushroom tart. It's kind of like a like an eggless quiche. And if you love mushrooms, you will love this dish. It's delicious. We're here in our stateroom. It's number 8178. And this is an Edge Infinite Veranda stateroom. As you can see, we have a lovely, really big um, king bed here. We've got a couple of nightstands with lots of storage, which I love. There is USB at one of the nightstands and USB and a plug at the other nightstand. So everybody has power, everybody can charge their phone, very important. So on the other side of the room, we do have a closet, just kind of a standard closet with some hanging space and a couple of shelves to put things. And over here in the desk area and the dresser area, we've got some more storage. We've got some divided drawers here. These are actually pretty deep on the bottom here, so we will fit a lot in here. And then on this side here, we have our mini fridge. Over here on the desk, we've got a whole charging box available. So you can just flip open the lid. We've got European plug. US plug and um, USBs. So that's great if you're like us and traveling with lots of cameras and laptops and phones, it's a great place to charge everything. And once you close it, you can hide the cable so it's nice and tight. Here in the bathroom of our stateroom, which I actually really like. I mean, it's a small bathroom, but the shower is decent sized and there is a leg shaving shelf, 
which is my favorite thing to have. I don't know how many of you have had to open the door to shave your legs or put your foot out on the toilet. I've probably done everything possible. So it's nice and it's far enough off the ground to where it'll make a difference. There's also shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel in the shower, which is awesome. And there's plenty of storage here. Um, there's some shelves around the sink area. So I think this is gonna work out great for us. And over here is the infinite veranda itself. This is kind of cool. So you actually have the balcony space inside the room. So it's climate controlled, but you can also press this button and the window actually opens. Here at the railing, you can actually see it's kind of like what you have on a riverboat, actually. Some of the river cruises have started to do this. So here we have an outdoor alfresco experience now in the, um, the humidity of uh, Florida. <laughs> Which is your favorite. This is my favorite. I'm sweating. I'm spritzing. I'm spritzing, fellas. <laughs> and this type of veranda is really unique in the ocean cruising industry um, because it's basically part of the room. It's indoors. You can open the window and bring the outside in. But it effectively is um, lengthening the room itself, which I really love. Yeah. And we're not super outdoorsy people. I would definitely yeah. call myself an indoor cat. Right. So it's nice to still be able to have the outside, but have the air conditioning of the inside when you're yeah. in warm places like the Caribbean. And if you want to be out in this space and give a little bit more privacy to the people that are in the regular uh, bedroom space, you can have a little bit more of a divider situation here, which is kind of neat. That one closes and then so does the other side. So. Yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah. Um, it works really well for us. I know this may not be everybody's first choice, but for us, I think it, it really works well with how we cruise. And also over here, we have a control panel, which is kind of cool. This is kind of like a home kit style control. And you want to try pressing some buttons and see what happens? I can press your buttons. Yes, you not can. Not a problem. Right? Close oh, blinds. So happening here. Hey Siri. It's like having Siri or Alexa on a celebrity ship. No, not Alexa. Not Alexa. We're a Siri fan. We're a Siri fan. Now. Right. Okay, so that did that. And then what we have movie and evening mode and it's oh sleep mode. Sleep mode. Time for a nap, get real dark. Nap time. Ooh. I have an additional storage alert. I was poking around on the walls that just looked like walls to me and Ooh. ah. Look at that. They are shelves. I thought this whole thing was just to showcase this lovely piece of coral, but no. <laughs> it opens up and Ooh. there oh, that's quite a bit. is actually some more storage here. Ta -da. So I think this is, I would totally sail on this for a week with two people. Yeah. I think there's definitely enough storage. We're only on for two nights, so we hardly have anything to put away, but I was very happy to discover this. Nice. Hey, so the main dining rooms on the ship are all themed to different uh, elements of celebrities past. So the Cyprus one here is kind of a homage to the Greek heritage and the cosmopolitan one that you saw uh, is kind of a reference to some of the ships that had the double decker restaurants back in the past, like the Millennium class. And down on this level, you have the Tuscan restaurant, which is a reference to the Tuscan grill on some of the other ships. And as we pan over, you will see the Normandy restaurant. And this one, of course, is a reference to the ocean liner themed restaurants that are on the Millennium class. Obviously I have found my throne where I belong and we're excited to dine here tonight. Um, on board, the way they do it is there's a shared menu across the main dining rooms, but each restaurant has specialty items, whether that be cocktails, appetizers, or entrees. We're gonna try some stuff here tonight that have a French flair and also be able to order off of just the shared menu across the ship. Speaking of thrones, I seem to have found my own here. Uh, what do you think, you like this one? Yes, yeah? it's very regal. Yeah, you gotta hello, do the, hello. the hand thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, Celebrity actually has really good chairs. Yeah. I know that's a weird thing to point furnishings out. Furnishings are great. The furnishings are so cool. There's yeah. really cool furniture. And they're comfortable. They're so if you're a gearhead like me, this is really cool. There's a section of the ship down here outside of the main dining rooms that actually shows a bit of the exposed steel. So you get a sense for what all this looks like at the shipyard. There's some drawings on it. There's even like a little face somebody drew out here and uh, just the different marks uh, for the blocks and the different segments. So I've had a chance to go to a lot of the shipyards and it's just kind of reminding me of uh, that experience. By the way, we're Mac people, so it's always cool to see the Celebrity Eye Lounge on board the Celebrity Ships. Always fun if you're into iMacs and uh, iPads and iPhones and all that jazz. Honey, I see a ship model thing over there. Ooh. We should probably go check that out. Okay. You know, Jason, I let you keep a lot of nautical ship stuff in our house, and I just want to know why I don't have a bejeweled peacock in my living room. That's a very good question. This is the popcorn frappe from Cafe El Baccio. It's a cold coffee cocktail. It's pretty mild and sweet and quite tasty, but I didn't really taste any alcohol, but I love popcorn, so I had to try it. Stop looking at me, Swanberg. 
Okay, so here we are on the pool deck of the Celebrity Beyond, and as you can see, the beautiful smokestack. It's kind of cool. You remember the old school celebrity ships? The X was always on the side. You could see it. They did something different here. They did the X as a protrusion. Straight down. Pretty cool, right? Getting shippy about shippy things, eh, babe? You gotta do it. Gotta do it. Shippy about shippy things. Yep. Well, I'm just having a cocktail. Hey, we found this awesome pool area just off of the rooftop garden. This is not on the first two ships in this class. It's just on the Beyond right now. And what's really cool is there's plunge pools. They're not hot tubs. So when you're in the Caribbean and it's maybe a little too hot for a hot tub, get in the plunge pool. They have seats, have these amazing ocean views. Well, not so amazing today. We're still in Fort Lauderdale, but tomorrow they will be amazing ocean views. I can see myself hanging out here a lot. Oh, hey there. Oh, hello. Here I am lounging in the plunge <laughs> pool. I am all about this pool. This is awesome. I feel like people haven't really discovered this. And I'm kind of thinking trip. like even in Alaska, even though it's chilly now, if it was warmer, this would be a really cool spot to check out the passing scenery, right? Yeah, but... I'm literally not going in this pool in Alaska, so you have fun by yourself. I'll be on the balcony with a coffee. As long as it's warm enough. As long as it's warm enough. Poo-poo is not going to be warm enough in Alaska <laughs> to go in the cool pool. He said, she said, folks. There he it said, is. She said, she said. She is right. He is wrong. That's marriage. <laughs> also repeated on board the Beyond is Eden. It's kind of a cool observation lounge space, but it's at the back of the ship, and it wraps all the way around and goes up this ramp area. It's effectively a triple decker space that's equal parts for entertainment, also for great cocktails, as you can see here, and it even has a restaurant built in. I tried the pina, which was tasty, but a little too mezcal -y for me. Maybe I just don't like mezcal. And Jason had the garden. Which was kind of like a gold rush, which I love, but with kind of a tree growing out of it. The entertainment in Eden is better than I expected. It's a little less interactive than on the edge and on the apex. So introverts, come on down. Don't be scared. But of course, the main theater is still grander in proportions and has the most amazing sound system. Oh my gosh, I can't with this thing. And shows here include Elements, which is a cool abstract interpretation of the Earth Elements. Stage Door is a tribute to your favorite Broadway hits, and what's unique is it features a pre-recorded full orchestra at the London Palladium Theater just for this show. Although I'm partial to classic musicals, I really enjoy the more modern numbers from Hamilton and Dear Evan Hansen. And I can't go without giving a shout out to the amazing vocalists. These singers are just incredible and are some of the best I've ever heard at sea or even on land. We're here in the club. It's a double decker space. It's kind of like a secondary show lounge. And I'm all about this type of venue when you don't want to feel like you have to go to the main theater with a million people. It's just a little more intimate. There's like little nooks and crannies where you can sit. And so we're going to come back here later and see some jazz and I'm really looking forward to it. And while there were some live instrumentalists, it definitely was not a full big band, instead mostly featuring the same talented troupe from Eden. We're here at Rooftop Garden Grill for lunch today. There's a smaller menu for lunch uh, than there is for dinner, but we're going to go ahead and try out some appetizers and some sandwiches and enjoy the ambience of the Rooftop Garden, which is really beautiful. So I'm looking forward to it. Hope it's great. So one obvious negative right now is that uh, this restaurant has the football game playing in the background. Now the rooftop grill, you can kind of see behind this pole here. Uh, makes it for a little noisier experience. Uh, not the best ambiance, just my opinion. So hey, we'll see how it goes. So the interesting thing about the college football game playing, first of all, I know some of you would be ecstatic about that. We're just not so much sports ball people ourselves, but it, it it seems like it's a live stream and they actually muted it when the commercials came on. So that's great. I like that part, at least. Aperol spritz time. Everything's better in a mason jar. I ordered the crudite for my appetizer and I love little jars of stuff. So this is amazing. So we've got some flatbread here. We have some hummus, some labne. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. And some tabula and some vegetables. So this looks like a great fresh start to this meal. I'm excited. Hummus, hummus, hummus. Get in my belly. Mm. Mm. It's really good. That's good hummus. So here I got the caprese salad. It's quite a pretty arrangement, isn't it? A bit of yellow tomato, I think, and uh, red tomato, and 
some great cheese, I'm sure. Let's see what we have here. Very refreshing. You love it. Nice. I do love a caprese. A plus. A plus? Mm -hmm. Nice. Look how healthy we are. Right. <laughs> oh, wait, except it's a plate of cheese. You know, you do what you can. <laughs> and I can do a plate of cheese. Right, right. Got a turkey club, triple decker, which is your favorite room service order. Really but this looks better than room service for sure. So let's check it out. Oh my goodness. Well, my mouth's not this big, but we're just gonna go for it. Mm, that's perfect. Great turkey club. Definitely recommend. And I got a BLC that has a variation with pork belly actually, so it's pretty party. Yeah, let's, let's see. You got that? Oh yeah, all that meat. Okay, that's really good. Nice and savory. You like it? That's tasty. There's sauce on your lips, so that's... I mean, that's good. If it doesn't get all over the place, <laughs> it doesn't belong in your face. Right. So there you go. So we're up here on deck 15. We're going to head to the sunset more, so follow me. Here we are sitting at the Sunset Bar, and it's a great view, as you can see off to the side here. Wake view, very cool. Uh, the only thing that's unfortunate is we're kind of off to the side here, and we're, there's actually a smoking area that you kind of get, uh, we're a little downwind, and it's a little unfortunate to get a little bit of whiff of that. But uh, other than that, we really like the location. It's definitely expanded. It's this double-decker space now, and really super, uh, it's like a destination now. It's a really cool kind yeah, of Moroccan really vibe. Cool. Yeah, it's like Middle Eastern yeah, Moroccan themes. There's really a cool. ton of seating. Right now it's pretty sunny outside, so right. we're trying to like find the little bit a little bit of spritz in a little, <laughs> little bit of shade that there is. It's our last day and we found the world class bar and we were just yeah. flipping through the menu and it's it really good. So good, right? Yeah. What does this bar remind you of? It kind of reminds me of the Alchemy bar a little bit on Carnival, but obviously a much more elevated, elevated. version. You know what else it kind yeah. of reminds me of is um, Good Spirits. Yeah, on Princess. Princess. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, totally. Like really interesting cocktails yeah. with interesting ingredients Absolutely. and stuff. Yeah. I'm about to get something spicy whenever there's yeah. a spicy cocktail on the menu. I am here for it. And I'm getting the American Pie cocktail. Yes. It's actually spicy. It's so good. Oh my gosh, this is the Azteca from the World Class Bar. And if you like a spicy cocktail, this one's for you. Okay, so here's the American Pie cocktail. Yeah, apple, fall, getting a little brown sugar, a little whiskey. I like it. Yeah, thumbs up for me. Okay, folks, here we are at Raw on Five. Yes, sushi time. It's happening. So what are we going to order tonight? Um, All the sushi. All the sushi, the rolls. All the rolls. There's a couple of uh, wontons, wonton lobster and shrimp. We are big Asian food fans. We have Sushi Thursdays at home where we, we go do. to our local sushi joint. And but we this love is it. Sunday. Dang it. Sushi Sunday, it's alliterative. We, maybe we should move it to Sushi Sunday. Yeah, it makes more sense. I'm just saying, or maybe you know, two nights of sushi for a week. I'm okay with that, sir. My bank account is not okay with that. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Okay, so we got uh, quite an arrangement here. This is the seafood tower. We got some shrimp on top and some crab claws. And below we've got the uh, lobster, uh, I think spiny lobster and crab legs. Kind of a custom option here for us. They, uh, we don't really care for oysters, so they gave us a, a mix of other things to make up for. This and is the chateau. Yeah, so that's the chateau right tower. The yeah, middle of the road. road, yeah. And then we got uh, two sushi rolls here. This is the California. And you've got the, um, what was that? Yeah. The Beyond Roll, the, the signature. Yeah. Yeah. Named after the ship. I just think if you order a seafood tower, you have to play with the crab claws. It's kind of a prerequisite. Yeah. Yummy! So I know a California roll may not be the most exciting thing to order here, but it's actual Alaskan crab in the roll instead of crab with a K. I mean, I am not above eating crab with a K for the record, but this looks amazing. I'm excited to try it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So we got very excited about sushi round one, so much so that we decided to do round two. 
Uh, I've got here the sweet and spicy um, salmon roll, which is actually a variation of California roll with salmon added. So let's see what this is. I think it's like a baked variety. And yes, I am using a fork. I'm yes, so I know, I know. Oh, wow. That's really good. I like the baked flavor, it's a little warmer. Very nice. I like both. Maybe the Beyond will give a little edge to it. We're on, that's the wrong the edge class. <laughs> We're on the edge class. Hello. So we're here at the Martini Bar, and I love sitting at a bar, but I don't love sitting on a tall chair. And this bar is really cool because half of it has tall chairs, and this half right here has normal sized chairs. It's not big way. Snowflake martini, after dinner drink. It has heavy cream in it, so obviously this is for the diet conscience in the bunch. Let's try it. Have a taste. Probably amazing. Did, uh, did you hear me say heavy cream? It's so good. It's so decadent, smooth, rich, creamy. It literally tastes like grown-up melted ice cream. Yes, yeah, so good. Round two, this is the toffee apple from the martini bar. It has butterscotch schnapps in it, which is really hard to say after a few martinis, but let's try it. Ooh, that's yummy. It's very butterscotchy. I like it. And even Captain Kate McHugh showed up for one final special send-off. Wow, two days went by really quick and we love the ship. It's a great ship and we can't wait to get back on board and try things we didn't get to try like this restaurant, Le Voyage by Danielle Belloud. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.